Hi guys and welcome back to the channel again. Um, today, well, I was meant to be over the rocks today. Um, I went down the mark where I wanted to fish just before. Um, I got down there and it would have been hit and miss for the cutting off point. Um, I'd have liked to have been down a bit earlier, but obviously with work and things like that, um, I could only get down at a certain time. And when I got down, um, you could still get on, but to be fair, the sea was a bit too big. Um, it had been hit and miss, like a bit dangerous for my liking. Uh, first thing I thought of was me, uh, me wee lass, and I thought, nah, I'll, I'll just go on the pier. And then as well, I was like, if I get a good fish on, there'll be no chance I'm going to land it because, um, like being on my own in them type of conditions, you'd have literally got the fish in and you'd have just been like that, but side to side, side to side, side to side. And so eventually, your line would probably snap. Um, so I thought, well, what's the point in going down? I'm targeting Tonga, by the way. What's the point in going down? Getting into a nice fish, possibly, and uh, and losing it just because the conditions are a little bit too rough, you know. Um, it was 40 mile an hour odd just last night. XC weather gear for um, 10 to 30 mile an hour from early on early on this morning up until like right through to today and um, it's still about mid 20s like I'd say that it's still a bit blustery as you can see with me here and that uh, so anyways I was like oh well any other mark down the cliffs to bits the parts where you can climb down it'd have been perfectly fine to fish but you'd have been still in the same situation if you got a good fish on whether you could land it on your own which probably probably not like so um I thought ah buggery. So I've just um I've just come down uh, to my local pier where um I got that little strap uh, little strap the other night and um lost that decent conger as well. I've just come to the same spot. Um the only problem is it's it's a tiny tiny tide, it's only a five point nine metre tide today. So um uh, last time I fished this park when it was a tiny tide, um I think I got a bite right on high tide, if, if, if I can remember correctly. And it was only a strap about three pounds, and I got it to the top of the water and it spun and come off. Um, I thought my lemon slapped it. Been poor, very poorly these past couple of days. Um, I think there's a, a sickness going about, so um, the past couple of day, nights have been up with fireballs coming out of my arse, basically. Let's put it that way. Uh, it doesn't been very nice at all. because they will think I'm a bit weird talking to my phone. <laughs> um, uh, but basically today I'm just fishing with mackerel again outside of the um, Pulley rigs, 150 pound hook length to 100 pound body with a 7 ounce um, Damax length, or 6 ounce actually. And, um, 7 oars and 6 oar mustard Vikings, that's what I've got today guys again. Um, hopefully next week and a half, two weeks. Hopefully we'll be trying for the cod, hopefully. Um, the weather's been perfect for it now, we just haven't had a chance to get out, but I'm, I, I, I'm, I think uh, a few people have been out, but have, I would say in these, in the, with, with the weather we've had, but I've seen no reports. I've seen um, quite a few bass getting caught on the reports on the beaches, but I've seen no cod at all, not one cod. So, um, probably a couple of couple of weeks time if we get another rough spell. Uh, next week it's my, uh, my granddad's memorial match uh, in the White Horse Club so I'll be fishing that next Sunday. Again I'll just be fishing on the piers but I'll just be like targeting rears and dogfish and whatnot. It's a bag match you see so it's the only match I fish for that club uh, these days. Um, heaviest bag match basically so 
my dog, dogs, are, well, rares and dogs, I should say, I'll probably be going for with the outside chance of a hoofs. Um, you also, if you, if you scaled your hooks down, you'll probably catch, uh, well, you will catch uh, dabs, whiting and whatnot. Possibly a place, depending on the conditions. Um, but I'd say it'll be ray and dogs, I'd say. More, more likely. Uh, so, yeah. I'll be fishing with my um, Evolution Match CT next week with um, the fixed boat and just keep the distance basically. Um, trying to catch a rainbow dog. Dogs. <laughs> Toy time to catch dogs. <laughs> um, today I'm just fishing with the uh, with the Sport, Evolution Sport today with my Slosh 30 with a uh, 40 pound main line on as well. The tide's black, the sea's black with how rough it's been. It's been rough for about two weeks straight. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Oh, camera. oh yeah, by the way, I've got a new um I've got a new holder for my camera. Uh, camera stand, that's why it um, looks a little bit better. The, so I fixed that guys. I've also got a new um a new bag as well there. There we go, you can see that. I got out of uh Cumbia Guns and Tackle. Um, I got my vast weirders about two weeks ago and already they shit up the dive holes. <laughs> so, but you can't be clean, can you? No fisherman's clean. Well, I, I wouldn't have thought, well, sea fishermen, I wouldn't have thought so. Anyways. Right, so, I'll, um, I'll let you go for now, guys. Um, have a tenner if you want to go. Um, it's about two hours before high tide now, so it's not that far off the high water to be fair. So around about now to onwards to high water, we'll probably have a chance of catching a, a fish. Um, I am going to fish it a couple hours back because that was the plan when I was on the rocks and I told my missus I'll be back at that time, so I may as well do that because I'm here, so I may as well do it still, fish that way. There'll be about now to high water. I got back, I wouldn't have ex I won't expect much, but you never know. It's, this is fishing after all, so you never know. Hi, um, I'll catch you in a bit, guys, if, uh, if there's any action. All right, guys, we're heading into the last uh, maybe 35 minutes, 40 minutes before high water. Um, so we're coming up to the time now when. Uh, if I was expecting a bite or a fish, I'd ex be expecting it very, very soon. Like um, <clears throat> once high tide goes, I don't think I'll expect nothing after that. Like I think um, our chance will be gone. But that time still to come, though, to high tide. So well. just um, hope and prayer to the fish gods. Hope and prayer. <laughs> uh, I'm just happy sandwich then. Uh, just literally the past. Five hours, I've got my appetite back. I like want to eat food now. Uh, oh, last night was horrendous. Last night, night before, and this morning was horrendous. And I still went to work, like, but really, I shouldn't have, like, but I still went. Gotta get the money in for the last. <laughs> but, uh, the conditions are perfect for the round this area, like, a lot shouted. Uh, Kind of like this when I catch cod off here in the winter time. Um, I would say that though, I've had um, cod up to seven and a half pound off here in mid November. I don't know if you class that as winter or not, but I think November still autumn, but I guess you could class it as winter as well, I suppose. Um, so yeah, I'll be fishing, obviously, I don't know if I'll be going down the cliff marks this winter or not. Um, excuse me, so. I'll be, might be, I might try new marks. Um, let's see how we get on. Because last winter, the stamp of fish I was catching down the cliffs, you were catching them off the shallow rock marks and the beach marks as well. The same size fish, so I think it's a bit like, well, what's the point in going down there? You know, hard work, you know, getting down, and keeping your balance because the, the ground's like got this like black stuff on it in the winter time, so it's hard to keep balance. Or climbing back up as well when you can like go on a beach or a shallow shallow reef reef marks and a bit easier fishing and get the same fish you know because it, it was all the same stamp of fish last year like 
but as uh, me old mucker Tony would say, there's always still a chance of a good fish off the cliffs, and which he is right, like. He is right. But he is on the shallow reef marks as well. Um, when I where I live, anyways. I need to get myself back over um, the northeast Newcastle side this winter as well, like. I only got over once last year, and um, they were my best stamp of fish, but I haven't said that before. I didn't, I didn't clap, add them to my tally last winter because obviously it was, they, were, they were caught off the north east so it didn't really count. Um, but the fish over there for cod is hell of, hell, of, hell of a lot better than what it is over here, like miles better. You catch, for example, if you catch a five pound cod over here, it's like catching a ten pounder over there. If you catch a twenty pound bag of cod over here, it's like catching a fifty pound bag of cod over there, you know what I mean? That's what it's like. The two sides, you know. Need a bite. We need a bite. Yeah, we need a fish. No, just not a dog fish though. <laughs> just not a dog fish. I'm having some rough, rough, rough luck at the minute, like with fishing. Hopefully it'll come good soon. Like I want to like catch nice size fish, like because I normally do, but <laughs> recently it's been poo. And again, I was getting out, out a hell of a lot more before my last come. Like, like I'm still going on decent conditions and I'm on decentish marks. So, uh, my luck will pan out, as Tony always says. <laughs> Your luck always it balances itself out. Like I'm having this dreadful drought now, and then like once, the, hopefully, when the winter comes, it'll balance. Hopefully, it'll balance back out with like good bags of fish or good single fish, maybe. So. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. So I'll uh, I'll knock the camera off again, guys, and um, hopefully I'll report back with a fish or we're getting into a fish. So I'll catch you in the bit. Oh yeah, the bite then, guys. I'll just hold the rod safe and fail anything. Can't have been much. Alright guys, um, I've, I had one little bite before, um, just like a little thump and then a little bit of slack line. Uh, pulled in, the bait was a little bit crunched up but I think it was probably uh, crabs and lobsters I'd say. The last time I fished this mark on a very very small tide, which is what it is today, it was kind of the similar outcome, you were getting little little like rattles and stuff like that. I, was, I lost quite a lot of gear that day actually, but I've, I've lost nothing at all today, but um, I was crab city that, well, that day, but today that's the only little like indication I've had today, like um, looking like another <laughs> bad session where I don't catch anything nice or anything, but it's just nice to get out, especially after I've been ill as well, <laughs> nice to get out like. Um, I'll see about getting out next week. Um, my mate Jordan said that he actually might take me salmon fishing. Uh, with it, well, it'll probably be with the worm because obviously the rivers are up. So uh, I'll, wait, I'll wait and see what he says. If he doesn't want to go, then I'll, I'll just come see fishing. But I'll definitely be fishing uh, Sunday next week in my granddad's batch. So definitely 100%. I'll just be fishing on this pier for rays, which is what's been getting caught tonight. What I've been seeing.
Uh, I'll, I'll just be fishing for um, rays next week, but I've seen a couple of rays get caught tonight and um, some dog fish as well. Alright bud, I've just seen another ray get pulled in then guys at the bottom of the steps there. All the rays I've seen get caught, they've just been, they've been uh, getting pulled up the wall by by the reel so they've only been small rays like, um, I've seen no one drag any round the steps so they've been no decent ones getting caught like, but they are about though. But uh, next week, it's forecasting overly winds next week so it'll be hard fishing next week I'd say like. Um, Completely different to a superly wind. When northerly winds tend to be very, very hard going, like <laughs> for anything around here. But um, I'm gonna whack my, whack my lights and that on now. I'm gonna give it another hour and then I'm gonna pack up, guys. So if, um, if there's out to report, I'll um, I'll let you know. So catch you in a bit. All right, guys. I'm just back at my house now. Um, well, it's the next year. Um, I didn't get any more bites, so, well, I got one little bite, that was it, that, and that was all the action I got yesterday, um, it was a poor session, but to be fair, it was a 5.9 metre tide, it's one, well, one of the smallest tides of the year, but the conditions were nice, but I wanted to fish on the rocks, as you as well know, on the video, but um, when I got down, um, obviously, I got down a bit late, because I, I had, like, finishing work, and I had to walk my dogs and that after it as well, um, the cut-off points um, where you could get on, you could probably have got on, but I was looking at the swell and there was just something about it that was still a bit too big for my liking and to fish on there. Um, today would have probably been a better day, but... <clears throat> Aye, sorry about that, guys. My missus was just coming in then, so <laughs> should have probably have said something stupid. Um, Aye, today would have probably have been a better day for it, um, but I'll spend my day with the family, so... Um, yeah, I'll maybe ask her if um, I can go maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm off Tuesday, like, I think. So I might go Tuesday. Um, I've asked my mate Jordan if he fancies going for salmon with the worm worm or shrimp, but he hasn't got back, so I'll probably we just be going um, uh, bait fishing again. But I'll probably just have fish baits again because, as I say, I don't have luxury to crab or out like that. So I'll, it's too small a tides to get worms, so... I'll, I'll probably just fish with fish baits, maybe go for a conger or something like that. Um, so yeah, um, I'll probably go on the rocks because it will, I'll be fishing over low water and say the way the tides are working out um, on Tuesday. Um, but as I say, I'll ask the missus first <laughs> if I can go. But um, this Sunday, it's my granddad's memorial match this Sunday. Uh, well, a week today, I could Sunday today, but a week today. Um, <clears throat> like I said, it's a bag match, so anything goes really. Um, I'll just be fishing for foam back rays and dogfish. You can only wear three dogfish in. Um, skate, as long as they're over 45 centimetres, they, um, they count foam back rays, that is. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, that'll be probably what I'll be targeting at the weekend. Um, so, yeah. Sorry about um, how boring the video is, guys. I've noticed my views are starting to drop quite a lot as well. Um, uh, so, obviously, people... <laughs> My video as on is uh, entertaining or as good as what the sometimes can be um, when I'm actually catching fish, but it's all well. But people say like upload, leave them when you're blank and upload, so I may as well, but um, I'll probably only get a few hundred views for this video, but never mind. Um, so I, I hope you enjoyed the videos, guys, this video, guys, um, and hopefully I'll have a I'll have more better sessions to come as you well know um, in the past so um, cheers guys and um, much appreciated if uh, whoever I, who does watch consistently for me um, so cheers for that so um, I'll catch you hopefully on Tuesday guys so um, tight lines and I'll, I'll see you later thanks bye